outside though you have to be prepared for winter weather so let's go ahead and go back to the studio with Alex because he's got some winter care tips for your car that you have got to know yeah absolutely uh, trying to head over the river and through the woods to grandmother's house you go and well this Thanksgiving we want to make sure you arrive safely so joining us now is car coach Lauren Fix and a good morning to you Lauren we appreciate you joining us this this morning Good morning. Thank you. You know, and right now here in the Northeast, I'm in Buffalo. The snow was crazy, but now we have rain, so we have flooded roadways. So you really need to ha make sure that you have your tires with good tread. So if you haven't checked your tire pressure, getting ready to go out for that Thanksgiving weekend, make sure to check your tire pressure, including your spare. If you don't have a spare, a lot of them don't. They have run flats. You may not have run flats on your car. People replace them with non run flat tires, go to your local parts store, get a tire inflation product, one that preferably has a compressor. So if you run up, have a flat, at least you can get back on the road. Um, also, don't forget to have your car checked before you leave. Uh, find your favorite ASE certified technician. Please make sure to have them go through the vehicle. The fluids, there's nine fluids in a car. There are belts and hoses and bushings and bearings and all those moving parts, including wiper blades, that are really, really critical. And also headlights. If you got a headlight, one's dimmer than the other, maybe one's out, a tail light. This is not the time to say, ah, oh, we'll get that when we get back. You really want to be on top of that, Alex. Absolutely. So great things to do before heading on out. Now, of course, it's going to be cold, snowy drive for some folks out there. So mm -hmm. give us just a couple of items that you should pack in case you get stranded. Well, the, yeah, living here in Buffalo, we know how to pack uh, an emergency kit. Your basic emergency kit should have jumper cables, but I say bypass that. Get a jump starter because if you're stuck somewhere and your battery is dead, the odds of ask getting someone to stop, there may not be anyone around, you can then just jump start the car on your own. Also, instead of flares, use an LED light source. You can see them through the snow. Flares, when they burn out, you could be there for hours. Uh, LED flares are magnetic. They attach to the car. You can buy them online. Um, in addition to that, of course, an emergency kit carries some bars. I'm always big about carrying a bag full of bars and, you know, beef jerky and, you know, nuts, whatever you can and can't eat. Everyone has their own diet restrictions. Uh, and if you know you're going to be going on a long trip, I always make sure my medication is with me because if you have a problem, that is a problem. Oh, my goodness. Yes, indeed. Thank you so much. Lauren Fix, some great advice, great tips for folks heading out this holiday. Uh, Got to be safe. Preparation is key and knowing what to pack before heading out as well. Again, we appreciate it. Lauren Fix. The